It's just called Al Smith. Pick up my latte for the trip. I'll catch you guys up. I'll stop somewhere and catch you guys up with where I've been. But check out their little patio up back. It's so cute. And they've got some pens and some white like paper. And you can sign and say hello. The cafe is called Todd Dog Cafe. So like this. I sign mine. Right here. Awesome. All right. Let's hit the road and head up to Big Sur. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> you up. I woke up this morning in this little town called Moreau Bay on the west coast of California between Los Angeles and uh, San Jose, San Francisco. I've always wanted to drive Big Sur and I never have so today I'm going to drive up the coast through Big Sur into San Jose but I wanted to catch you up as to where everything's been for the last little while. So after I picked Teresa up at the airport we made our way to the Overland Expo, got set up, it was windy, it was dry, it was hot and sunny, but it was windy. <laughs> so we were so busy meeting people and hanging out with people that I didn't have time to vlog. The Overland Expo was something absolutely worth going to see if you have the chance. We'll be there again next year. Make sure you come down and visit us. It's an event where you see so much amazing gear. You meet so many amazing people. I got to meet some people who follow the YouTube channel, guys. It was great to see you guys. I love to hang out with you guys. There are so many amazing people who follow this vlog, and I'm so thankful, and I'm so humbled by the whole thing. Three days of the expo, windy. I got a little bit burnt. As you can see, lips dried out. In fact, my lips were so dry at one point, they were swollen, which was totally my fault. I didn't bring chapstick or anything. After the Overland Expo, which was amazing, we worked our way back to Vegas on the Sunday night and stayed at that same KOA again, had a swim, relaxed, recovered, oiled our faces because we were so burned. Oh, that bird just about took off my head. These guys are walking by. I bet they'll look backwards. Wonder what I'm doing. What do you think? Probably. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, um, so yesterday I dropped Teresa at the uh, airport and she's flying back to Victoria, so she's already home. I did the long drive from Vegas to Moreau Bay on the coast uh, yesterday, which was about seven, seven-ish hours of driving. And today is gonna be a more relaxed day. I'm gonna work my way up the coast. We're gonna hit some fun stuff and then we're gonna meet somebody for the first time that I met directly through my YouTube channel. Did I miss anything? It's time to get on the road and see what we can find out. Let's go.
I stopped for that shot of the sea lions and right after I put the drone away, a cop came by and he's like, you're in a no stopping zone. I was like, sorry, I'm out of here. Close timing. San Jose, California now. Kind of came up the coast at the number one, which was awesome. And I'm meeting someone at a Starbucks, which I have the address for. So now I just need to find, oh, there it is. Hey, there he is, I see him. Always say yes to every opportunity. And you'll meet amazing people and you'll have an amazing experience. Hey, Mr. Al Smith. How's it going, man? How you doing, man? One of the first videos I saw was when you did that shoot with the band. I think that's when I started. So yeah, that's yeah. like okay. three months? Yeah, it's probably it's, probably it's, yeah. Because it, that's how long I've been vlogging, so it had to be yeah, about yeah. since then. Since then. So weird that the difference is. in depth. I know, right? Look at how much further I am behind you on that one. And this one is yeah, like we're on yeah. top of each other. Just hanging out here with Chad. Chad has a YouTube channel as well. Super fun hanging out. We didn't record a lot of what we talked about, which is okay. That's totally fine. But we're just gonna do a little Q&A. We're gonna ask each other some questions and uh, we'll, we'll see what sticks. How long have you been vlogging for? I think I'm uh, about to hit 100. What is that, three months and a little month? I don't know, that's math. Yeah. I don't, don't ask me math. <laughs> vlog math is different than math math. I don't know how people do the vlog count thing. On all of your travels that yeah. you've been on, yeah. what's your favorite place? I think my favorite vlogging trip was, uh, so far, was Death Valley. Uh, a, I was there with my son, which was absolutely awesome. And it was such a different place than I usually am. Like up north, we don't have like playas and big deserts. So that was amazing. Of all time, Dominican Republic. What's next for you? What's your, what's your burning desire for your life? Novel. 
Ooh. Yeah, I'm working on a novel. Although I don't have a lot of time now that I'm doing this. Yeah. I'm not even gonna ask you what it's about, you can surprise us. Yes, the okay. surprise is the important part. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't have to commit to anything either too, you can just write for exactly. years. Exactly. This is too permanent, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but when I was watching and you would talk about, like I had to take some take some air out of the tire and I had to put some air yeah. back in, I'm like, I wouldn't know anything about that. I couldn't punctuate my way out of a paper bag if you asked me to. <laughs> Punctuation, I'm good with. <laughs> okay. Spelling, no. Okay. I'm awful. <laughs> okay, so there's, so you're better than punctuation than me. That's yeah. good. All of us humans are good at something, and so it's easy. Okay, we're gonna get all philosophical here for a second. Ready? <laughs> so I think that in today's day and age, it's very easy to be jealous of other people's lives. I think it's easy for us to get caught up in looking at everyone else's lives and assuming that they're better than ours. Totally. And really, that's not always the case. I'm, I don't sit alone well, and I often wish I could. I'm jealous of the people who can sit alone. I can do that. Right? And But that, that for me, that's, a, that's a naturally hard thing. Yeah. And some people, like, and, but that person who likes to sit alone looks at me and goes, man, I wish I could be as outgoing and social as that person, right? And so it's very easy for us to look at what everyone else is doing in everyone else's lives and think it's better than ours, when really it's just different. So at the end of the day, you just have to go and live your life, whatever that story for you is. I love watching that thing bobble. The, the wind thing? Yeah. It's nodding approvingly at our answers. It, it likes us. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing the camera likes us or we'd be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's be honest. I found out that he's lived here in San Jose oh, almost your whole life. Yeah. Right? And so my question to you is, would you ever move from here? And what would it take to make that happen? I'd consider Canada, actually, depending on how our election turns out, because it scares the hell out of me. Uh, Did you hear there's a dating site that someone created? What's it called? Oh, crap. It's called Maple Match or something. It's a, basically a dating site to hook you up as an American to get married to a Canadian so you can come to Canada. <laughs> Hold on, let me download that app. I think it's called Maple Match. <laughs> <laughs> Move to Canada over Mexico? Yes. <laughs> so, how do you pass the time? <laughs> I sit and try and figure out what that guy's license plate means. D-L-T-D-G. Delta dog. I think it's Delta dog. Oh, look at you. You're better at the see you in words, right? If there was one person you could have on your vlog, other than me, of course. Of course. Yeah. Who would it be? Casey Neistat. Yeah? Hands down. He's just so happy. That's over anything that anybody yeah. says. Yeah. Just his attitude and when he makes that, that grin and that smile. Yeah. That, I think that's half of what sells his vlog is just yeah. his attitude. Have you ever had any hate comments yet? Not yet. <laughs> I got, I got my first one. Really? Yeah. I deleted it right away and just banned the guy from the channel. It was like, if I ever see you in your effing Jeep driving in my effing city, I'll effing slash your tires and effing break your windows, you effing piece of crap. Let me guess. He was probably American. It was Donald Trump. <laughs> I want to sit down and spend a day 4x4 camping with Elon Musk. That's a pretty good answer I, for like, someone having trouble with it. I'd like to take him out into the woods camping and just like get a glass of scotch and just talk. Like that guy had quite a life. Casey, Elon, if you guys are watching, <laughs> call us. Yeah. I don't know why I pointed at my watch. Because <laughs> it's an Apple Watch. Yeah. They, they, a, could, they could call you on your Apple it's Watch. A, it's, a, it's a mediocre speakerphone. <laughs> You're spending lots of hours in that Jeep alone. Yeah. What are you listening to? Are you listening to books, podcasts, music? Oh man, I would like to say that I'm educating myself. I'm not. Uh, I'm surely just listening to music most of the time. Ever since Apple Music came out, I just look for like playlists of people I've never, like people I know one song of, and I just listen to the whole thing through. I listened to Britney Spears for like 45 minutes between Vegas and Los Angeles. I thought that was fitting. But she's done so much more than I thought. She anyway, we don't need to talk about Britney Spears. <laughs> I, I need to do some Christina Aguilera on the way home too, just to round it all out, just to make it all perfect. All right, bye. I'm gonna get back on the road. Make sure you check out his channel. Same with his. Same with same with his. Oh, where does it pop up? Is I, it over my shoulder? Look, palm tree. All right, that was super fun. It's fun to hang out with other people doing daily vlogs because they kind of totally get the challenge behind it all. They totally understand what it means to be working this hard. It's hard work. 
Okay, so I've hit a whole lot of traffic coming outside of San Francisco on the way in. Stupid me, I plan to be here right around rush hour time. So the question is, do I hunker down just this side of San Francisco and try and get up early and push through when there isn't very much traffic? Or do I keep pushing through and try and see how far I can get tonight? You can make a bet as to whether you think that's gonna happen because I'm gonna end the vlog here in this horrible rush hour traffic. Mm -hmm.